What's going on guys? It's Ben here from North Carolina. You know, tonight should be a perfect night for flying. I have a new tool, a new camera I'm gonna try to use in some of my videos. This is the iPhone 12, it's the Pro Max. And you can see there are several cameras, lenses there on the back, including the two and a half time optical zoom. This phone is meant to have improved stabilization, better filming in low light. But let's talk about it when we get in the air. But I noticed some activity here today, so I thought I would swing back through. Yeah, they're definitely working today. Making a little cul-de-sac. Look at all this cotton here. I'd like to try out the various cameras and check the video quality on the new iPhone 12 Pro Max. So let's back up for just a minute. In November of 2020, Apple released its iPhone 12 Pro Max, which includes a ton of upgrades over previous models and is perhaps their best phone yet. It has an A14 Bionic chip, which means that it's both faster and more efficient than previous models, an improved camera system with three different lenses and a LiDAR scanning capability, it has improved durability and an improved display with a 6.7 inch Super Retina XDR display with over 3.4 million pixels and it has 5G support. But critics would probably tell you that this phone is both heavy and expensive. In this video I'd like to talk about the improved camera system and what those lenses mean to us when we're recording video either in the field or during flight. So you can see on the, on the iPhone 12 Pro Max there are three cameras and there are three settings. You'll see these settings on your menu, but Apple describes them as wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto. Let's just check the standard setting here. Please consider subscribing to this channel. This is the best camera system yet in an iPhone. And the main drivers are the sensor, which is 47% larger, the optical image stabilization, which is based on a sensor shift stabilization, which would typically only be available in a digital SLR camera. Also the LiDAR scanner, which is like using lasers to map out the scene in nanoseconds. And the 2.5 times optical zoom, which is equivalent to a 65 millimeter lens. Some of these landscape views that I've captured from several hundred feet in the air may not be the best representation of what the iPhone 12 cameras can do. Let's take a look at some other subjects. I've labeled every iPhone 12 video in the top right corner. I think some of these images do represent pretty impressive display of light and color and detail. One of the things that I'll have to do is work on the actual composition of each image in the future so that we can avoid some of these problems like sunspot. For the videos that I capture and the vlogs that I create, there's no doubt I'll continue to use a variety of cameras including action cameras like the GoPro and phone cameras like iPhone 12 Pro Max. I hope you found something useful here and I hope you come join me on my next flight.